So I'm going to start this by saying let x equal the time spent at each station in hours, which means the whole problem has to be in hours. And the question says, um, at most how long can the train remain at each station if the average speed for the trip, including stops, is at least 36 kilometers per hour? Um, we know that distance is equal to rate times time, but this is saying that the rate is at least, which means could be more than, so greater than or equal to, 36 kilometers per hour. Well, rate is distance divided by time, and in this case, distance is equal to rate times the time at the stops plus the time moving. Um, time at the stops plus the time moving. So if I kind of put this all together um, and I say, well, that means I'm going to try to create space here. Uh, rate is equal to distance divided by time. I'm going to substitute the r with the distance, the total distance, 21 kilometers, um, divided by, let's move this out of the way, oops, sorry, divided by the time. Now the time is an interesting thing because it is that sum. It's the sum of two times. So the time at the stops is 6x because each stop is x. And the time moving is 20 minutes. So that's one third of an hour. And this is actually our inequality, the way that they'd want it set up. So let's kind of take a look at this. What I'm going to do is a kind of quick step is multiply, um, let's do the numerator denominator by a 3. That way I can clear the 1 third. So I have 63 over 18x plus 1 greater than or equal to 36. Now, before I do any cross-multiplying or anything, um, I could divide both sides by a 3, and I would get, um, let's see, I'd get 21, and, is that right? 21 over 18x plus 1 is greater than or equal to um, 12, actually, sorry, by 9. I could go 7 is greater than or equal to 4. There, now this is a little bit smaller. Um, I just divided both the left and right sides by a 9. Let's do a cross product. Get 7 is greater than or equal to um, 72x plus 4. 72x is greater than or equal to 3. Uh, or sorry, yeah, less than or equal to 3. Switching that around. And x is less than or equal to 3 over 72 is 1 over, um, that'd be 24. 1 24th of an hour is, um, hold that, that'd be two and a half minutes. Is that right? Yeah. So th we could say that it's 1 24th an hour, or x is less than or equal to two and one half minutes. Yeah, they're two and a half, 24s, and 60. Um, so, so less than or equal to is um, an at most, so it, it is at most two and a half minutes.